Hello everyone, Danny here today to talk to you about two audiobooks in this review. It's a holiday season and I listened to two audiobooks that, that both are Christmas books, but they have a, a truly different feel to them. And I'll explain what I mean in just a second. First, I have a favor to ask. If, like me, you love audiobooks, please subscribe to my channel. Hit notifications. Join me on my audiobook journey. Now, what do I mean? First, the two books. The first book is called The Christmas Train, and it's by David Baldashi. And the second book is called The Hirelings, and it's by Mary... I can't remember the middle name, Braden, and I apologize for that. So, The Christmas Train. The, the Christmas Train does not feel like your classical... Christmas story in the sense of like Scrooge or, you know, what you think of when you, when you think of a Christmas story. The Christmas train feels more like a Hallmark Christmas movie, but set on a train. It's a story about this reporter who decides to go cross country on a train and ends up meeting the love of his life on the train. And I don't want to give too much away, but You've got some mystery thrown in. You've got a lot of romance thrown in. And then at the end of the book, you discover that it was all kind of not what you thought it was in the beginning of the book. It, it's, it's a very enjoyable listen. It's one of those to where you can listen to it while you're doing something put it down for a while, go do something else. You you don't really get that, oh my gosh, what's happening next feel from it. Narrator does a really, really good job. What I actually enjoyed the most about the book was all of the information about Amtrak and about the train system in America. The, the author ha has just filled it full of facts about trains and particularly about Amtrak. Lots of things that I didn't know. I've always, always wanted to do a cross-country trip on a train. I think that would just be so incredibly cool. And now my desire to do that has grown by leaps and bounds after listening to this book. It occurs during the Christmas season. In fact, they're supposed to be taking the trip to spend Christmas somewhere else. Some events happen and they end up having Christmas on the train. Despite that, the book never gets that, you know, deep Christmas feel about it. Like you get from a book like Scrooge, uh, this, you know, the, the story of Scrooge or the movie Scrooge. Instead, it has that kind of surfacey Christmas feel like Hallmark movies have. And, and I mean, nothing against the Hallmark Christmas Channel. My wife and I love Hallmark Christmas movies. I am not ashamed to admit I love Hallmark Christmas movies. It's one of our favorite things to do when this season rolls around. Sit on the couch, put on Hallmark and the fire, and just snuggle up and, and enjoy a really good Hallmark Christmas movie. And, and we can binge watch three or four of them in a row, you know, if we have the time available. I haven't really had the time available right now, but if we have the time available. The other movie, The Hirelings. This was a movie. Hang on a second. Sorry, my throat's starting to get dry. This was a movie that Audible gave as a gift to its listeners for this holiday season. A what would not have listened to it, except I thought, hey, I'm about to do a video on the Christmas train. It's a short book. Maybe, you know, I might get enough out of it to throw a little extra something into the Christmas train. By the way, there is a second short story at the end of the Christmas train, if you get the audible version of it, it is a very short story. Um, and it's a very moving story, but like the, it, it doesn't have the Hallmark Christmas feel to it. And it also doesn't have that deep Christmas feel to it. And that's probably because it's a very short story is what it is. But I did want to let you know about that. That is at the end of the audible version of The Christmas Train. So back to The Hirelings. 
This is a story about an old guy who, you know, he, he's, he's the lord of the manor. He's got a castle. Um, he's, I, I think they're in Scotland, if I remember correctly. And he's got this friend that, that comes around. And he, basically, the, the friend doesn't really live anywhere. He just travels from friend to friend to friend to friend. And kind of lives off of them, but everybody loves him so much that they don't really feel like he's living off of them. And he has this brilliant idea. You used to love Christmas. You're not enjoying Christmas anymore. Let's hire some kids. I'll make sure that they're not, you know, total scruffy and ruffians. I'm going to make sure that they know their manners and they know how to behave and they won't be offensive and everything. But that's really what we need to liven up Christmas. And, and the old guy agrees to it. Well, then you get the story of his estrangement with his daughter. And I'm not really giving anything away because it com becomes fairly obvious early in the story that these children they've hired are actually his grandchildren. I mean, you, you figure that out really, really quick like. And so I'm not really giving anything away. And, and that's what his friend is wanting to reconnect him with his daughter and with his grandchildren. It is a, a wonderful story. It's a Christmas story that I'm going to listen to every Christmas. It had parts in the book that brought me to tears. It didn't have any real laugh out loud kind of movie, but that or kind of feel to it, but it definitely had scenes in the book that, that brought a big smile to my face. There are some unexpected twists that near it that occur near the end. And as the book draws to a close, the author does an excellent job of showing you the old guy's heart hardening and, and, and shutting down and him deciding, no, I'm, I'm not going to fall for this trick from my friend. I, I, I will not. And then something happens at the end, of course, to soften his heart, and I do not want to give it away. Both of the the Christmas train and the hirelings, I would say, are safe for family. I do not remember any language on any of them whatsoever. There are some sexual references made on the Christmas train. Um, the, they're along the lines of his girlfriend, one of the guy's girlfriends, refers to the fact that she brought her her naughty nighty along, stuff like that. There's there's not any real, um, you know, oh, and then they slept together or anything like that. It, it's veiled references of things that are expected to occur because, you know, people are prepared for it, I guess I'd say. I, I would have felt perfectly fine listening to it around my children. I, I don't even think if they were too young for it, they would have understand. And if they were old enough, They've seen so much worse than that. And of course, the hirelings, and nothing like that at all. And the hirelings is written in a style. And I haven't looked the author up. Maybe I should have done that before I recorded this video. But it, it's like Thursday. I post this video tomorrow morning and I got to go to work in like 20 minutes. So I'm, I'm hurrying to get this video out there. So I have something to post for tomorrow. So I didn't take the time to read to, to check out the author. But it's written in a style that is reminiscent of the older style writing, like you would get from, you know, the, the Scrooge. I can't remember the original name of the book, The Scrooge, but that kind of style of writing. The Hirelings feels very much like it is a Christmas story aimed at Christmas. It's not a story that evolves around Christmas. It is a story specifically aimed at Christmas like this the story of Mr. Scrooge it's it, it's aimed at christmas and and that's why it's going to be one that's going to be a favorite of mine to listen to every year when you find that really good christmas story that's just like aimed at christmas and you think it's christmas you want to listen to it time and time again and, and this will be that book that that will be a regular annual Christmas listen to me. So thank you, Audible. You gave it to me for free. I really appreciate it. Love the book. Narrator did an excellent, amazing job. If you like my video, please hit the like button. If you like my channel, subscribe. Turn on notifications. Questions, comments, feedback, put them in the comment section. I promise I will get back to you. 
And I can't lean close to the screen like I normally do because I got my dog laying on the ground here in front of me. I'm down on my knees to do this so I could get the tree behind me. And my dog was like, oh, I'm going to go cuddle up with dad now. So I would end up crushing her if I did that. So, but no matter what else you do today, make sure that today you listen to at least one really good audiobook. And I do recommend for the Christmas season, The Christmas Train and The Hirelings. Thank you and Merry Christmas.